Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day... Oh, the, yeah, of course. It's the last day of August. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drum in this court. Let me know what you think about today's farm. And apparently we're starting or uh, ending with a, another hard farm. Let's take a look. 1326, minimum numbers of taps to open a ward. <laughs> minimum number of taps to open to water a garden. Okay, so basically you have a one-dimensional garden on an x-axis. That's my favorite type of gardens. And, oh, I just, random note, I guess they haven't updated their, uh, their Twitter to X, man. Come on. Come on, they could be sensitive. They're not Twitter anymore. No one can interview on Twitter anymore. Okay, anyway. Uh, all right, let's take a look. So, it got, there's N plus one taps from zero to N. There's an integer N and a range uh from, I might, okay. So, basically, this means... I mean, at the end of the day, this means that there's some sec this is some interval thing. So I, I suspect we we're probably going to end up using my favorite sweep line. It's actually not my favorite, but I feel like people know me for using sweep lines on everything. Maybe even though maybe sometimes there are other solutions. Okay, we we turn the minimum number of tabs that are, should be open to return. Oh, I mean, yeah. So this is going to be dynamic programming in a way. I mean, the way that th these always structure is dynamic programming i think i kind of alluded to it a couple of days ago um i mean there is still i mean you could both think about it as a sweep line and dynamic programming and both the implementation could be very much the same so uh, or very similar in either case but the idea here is that at a certain point at a certain interval you can figure out what the minimum is at that point so um yeah Okay, I'm just gonna take a quick peek at n is what I'm doing. I mean, I, I knew. I, uh, I mean, I know the thing that I'm doing is gonna be n log n, so it should be okay either way. Uh, or like you know, so. But I was just curious. Uh, one thing that I have been doing is changing the inputs to uppercase because I, there was a, a problem the other day where the the input was lowercase, and I tend to use lowercase on my my wearable, so then I end up uh, getting a mistake or two. But okay, uh, that's just a personal thing anyway. Uh, also, n is equal to, to, to number of ranges, right? Or am I misunderstanding? Or ranges plus one, maybe? Hmm. This is very weird. The length of the garden is not n if it starts at... Uh, I guess it depends on how you want to say it. Uh, okay, fine. Maybe I'm wrong on this one, to be honest. Okay. Um, yeah, but... But you can think about DP in, in kind of the uh, or sweep line in both the same way, which is me going to draw, bring up the, the drawing board. So give me a second. Where's uh, my pen? Okay. I do question, get questions about what my app is. And in case you're wondering, it is actually the MacBook uh, or OS X or I, yeah, OS X paintbrush. It's, 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 the, it's the thing that comes with the Mac. So I, I, it's not a, any, uh, and I also use a, oh, wow, there's a lot of dust on this, actually. But I use a welcome thing for drawing, uh, in case you're wondering. Uh, maybe I should set up a link so then you can kind of buy it and then I get money for donations or like I, that I donate to charity. In any case, all right, yeah, so, I mean, this is basically, um, this is a problem that we've done before. Uh, I mean, if you're new to the stream, then maybe not us, but but it is a very common problem for whatever reason on Nico. So basically, you have some segments, right? It looks like this, and then the idea is that you're trying to. Um, and this is a variation. There are a lot of variations. The idea is that we're trying to minimize. Um, yeah, maybe. Hmm. I think because in this case you you, I'm I think to be honest I think in my mind I'm confusing a little bit with the no overlapping one but in this one you want minimum number of segments that covers the entire span so it is going to be a little bit different so maybe it is not DP wow maybe I misspoke because I think I was thinking of the other one but in either case though because uh, I think this one is going to end up being greedy but the idea here is if we're going to do greedy then right we we're trying to cover the entire span. And basically, the, the, I think the idea behind greedy is that, okay, let's say, you know, 
um, this is the, the garden or something like this. Well, I mean, the answer will be negative one, but let's say we have more, right? Uh, and then the idea here is that we always choose the one. Let's say we start at zero, right? This is zero. Maybe I choose a different color. Let's say this is zero, right? Then that means that, we, uh, well, in this case, there's only one thing overlap, but let's say there are multiple things that overlap, right? Then what, what happens? What do we do? Well, the, the easy thing is that when there are multiple things that overlap, we just greedy choose the one that goes the longest, right? Because by definition, you can only have a sub-optimal solution or like a worse result if you choose the other ones. Makes sense. And then now that means that here, there's going to be a space going in that direction. So then now we have to look at all the things that intersects and then also choose the biggest one, right? And then so forth. And I think that should be good enough. Uh, I was thinking in my head that I'll draw out the other thing, but, but yeah, I think this should be good enough. And in that case, then it just becomes a sorting and a, it's still a sweep line or scan line, depending on how you want to say it, uh, and how you visualize it in your head in, in parsing. But I think we're good to start coding maybe. Um, yeah. Mm. I'm trying to think, uh, not gonna lie, uh, I think most people should not be doing this, uh, what I'm doing now, which is in my head, I'm thinking about how to write the code in a way that is prematurely optimizing. Uh, I think there are definitely a couple of ways you can write this and you, I think, um, you know, especially if you're, you're still just learning in the beginning, I think it just don't worry about being verbose. Don't worry about writing a lot of lines of code or whatever per se. Think about how you want to, or like almost try to like, you know, uh, uh, convert your visualization, convert your ideas into English. And then for every English sentence, can convert it to lines of code so that they're kind of like follows through. So you could kind of uh, read the code like you're reading English almost. I mean, that's kind of, one of the, I mean, there are a lot of ways you can say readable code, but that is very often what, what people mean, right? It's just like, okay, well, you ch and then you can put them in functions and stuff like there's a mod, uh, 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 methods or whatever, but that's another story. Um, for me, I'm just trying to think whether I can opt because, because at the way, um, the way, oh my, I just noticed my hair is kind of funky today, but anyway, um, because at the way, uh, basic way of writing it, you can just literally create what we did, right? We could create all the segments for each one, do some sort of sorting, and then just go through it. I think there is some other thing that we can take advantage of to kind of write this, but maybe, and, I, and I'm thinking whether I should do it. Uh, the problem with that kind of thing is that one, you have to think about it and plan for it, obviously. But also two, um, unless you're like it, um, it basically decreases your confidence unless you know you know what you're doing and sometimes that premature optimization may be wrong like maybe you, you're like oh because of A, B, and C we could do D but then maybe C is actually not true and you're just like oh wait yeah and that, that happens sometimes if you watch enough of Larry so uh, but yeah um, I think I can let's see right So I think we can do something like, uh, and like I said, maybe I'm optimizing too far ahead. Maybe I should just write the silly so, situ, uh, solution first. But I think, well, for, for to begin with, uh, let's just call this M because I, I I don't know, I don't I don't I, I don't like this definition of N. And it feels practically useless. I don't like. I don't think I'll use it for anything. It's just this n minus n plus one. So I don't know. But I'll use it m so I don't over oh, confuse people at home if they don't happen to kind of take a peek. Uh, but yeah, and then now, da, 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 right? And then what I want to do is ranges of i. 
Um, I want to look at I minus ranges of I, so that's the leftmost beginning. So then now we want this has to be at least zero. Um, we want maybe I can have something like. Um, furthest is equal to, say, i for i in range of m, right? That's basically just saying that starting at that point, that's the farthest you can go. And then I, maybe I can do something like furthest of this index is equal to i plus ranges of i, right? Um, yeah. So then this is basically like saying at this step, this is the farthest that we can go if we need to. Um, and is that true? So zero, if we have one, then we go to one. Okay, yeah. Um, and then if we are not able to go beyond that, then we are a little bit sad. But then now we can go for i in range of, I guess, n, but uh, I'll still use m. Um, uh, and then now we we have operations. I call it operations. I guess it's tabs. And then maybe a, uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> what I'm struggling with right now is naming variables. I wanted to use furthest again, but obviously we all used it. So uh, uh, yeah, that's not great. But uh, furthest, furthest. I need like furthest, current furthest. All right, fine. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. Naming things are tough. So okay. So then now here, basically, if the fur furthest we can go starting at this location is greater than current furthest, then what happens, right? Um. I have to be a little bit careful in this one. Am I right on this one? We don't update current furthest unless, you know. Or maybe maybe I, maybe that's I need like next furthest is zero to zero, right? So if this is greater than the current furthest, then what it means is yeah, I need an extra variable, I suppose. If this is the case, then what what happens? That means that um we need a new one, right? This is the thing where we drop off. So then we need a new one. So Oh wait, no, no, no. Then in this case, I think when i is equal to furthest, not furthest of i. Okay, that, that, that's the part that was it. And maybe this is off by one, to be honest. But I think this makes more sense now. Okay, so basically now we, we've gone further. So then... Uh, this is a little bit tricky. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking my time right now because uh, I'm trying to be more mindful about being correct. That's one. But also just... Um, rethinking about, and I say this a lot in my stream because this is the mistake that I make a lot is thinking about off by ones, right? If we're thinking about off by ones, and this and this particular one is hard to kind of think about off by ones is thinking about what it means precisely. So okay, so the I cell is the lo is the furthest away where it is the longest thing. Um, yeah. So basically, if we're this is already past the furthest. So this cannot be, if this is true, I think we return negative one actually. If i is equal to current furthest, then we do something like um, current furthest is equal to next farthest, furthest, uh, farthest, and then next, and then we do one operation but then next furthest we is equal to max of next furthest uh furthest of i something like this but i, I feel like i'm it's this is the idea but i feel like it's, i'm not confident about this one but i am going to spin it out to kind of see um did i mess this up 
Well, maybe I'm off by one. I think that's the thing that I was thinking of saying, right? Oh, then this creates it to be zero. Uh, that's not right. I think. Oh, I think I need to do this first. I mean, that's why. I mean, I'm still not confident about it, but I think that should fix that particular piece. And then now. So from zero, it goes to three, but that, wait, is it? Let's print that out real quick. It goes to five. And then at five, do we go at five? What is M again? Oh, M is six. So then it does go at five. We don't need this at five. Well, I think if this is true, then we failed. But otherwise, um, so. Maybe someone like that. But still not that confident, to be honest. It's very easy to make a mistake on this one. That's what I'm trying to think. Uh, and this particular problem, uh, it's very kind of like the order operations matter and try to think through it. Um, I want to say I want to do a test case. Uh, let's see. Let's just do a basic one of that. That should actually return negative one. Is that true? Oh no, I looked at the wrong one. Hmm. Oh no, this is zero. That's right. The five is zero. Okay. Sorry. So then uh, that's what I wanted to test, but I tested the wrong thing. That's fine. Okay. Um, and also the three makes sense. Mm. All right, let me just give a submit. I've, I'm still not super confident. This is very easy to kind of get like, like, like if this is a, like there's a lot of things that is off potentially off by one so i'm really not confident but apparently it works and i apparently got a dc what is dcc even oh daily coding challenge uh yeah so i, I got a new batch hooray uh 1248 streak ah, 1248 what did i do last time this last time i did basically the same thing oh no i did it with dp I guess I did do it with DP that time then. I mean, this thing makes sense. It's just... Hmm. Definitely, if you're curious about DP, check out how I did it in two and a half. You know, what, what year is this? Is that three and a half years ago? Or two and a half years ago? It's three and a half years ago. Jeez. Jeez Louise. <sighs> That's all I have for this one, though. Let me know what you think. Oh, I forgot to do the analysis. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is all of N... I think that's, or, or well, I guess N is M plus one or whatever, uh, or the other way around. Uh, yeah, this is O of M, O of N, both O of N. This is linear time constant, or linear time, linear space because of this. Just we set this up. Um, so yeah, so this is pretty fast solution. It's definitely faster than my other one from a few years ago, because this is... Mm, no, I mean, I think this is still M plus M because this only shows up twice for each thing. Oh, wait, no, this is... I read this wrong. Uh, I think, yeah, the way I did this is a little bit lazy. I think I could have prefix some this. Um, uh, that's what I was thinking about doing as I'm writing it now. You could probably have prefix some this, but I guess in a way, if you did, then you end up with what I wrote today in a, in a different way. So, that, yeah, that one is kind of messy um don't know how it passed to be honest but uh yeah anyway that's all i have for this one let me know what you think stay good stay healthy do good mental health uh i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye